Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is June 28th, and uh, that can only mean one thing. It's the Monday Market Coin Report. Uh, and I am your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. If you're catching this on a Sunday evening or kicking off your day on a Monday, welcome. Uh, we are going to be recapping some of the most uh, substantial modern coins. Generally, these are all going to be graded material that I've sold within the last week. And uh, it features coins from the 20th and 21st century, so 1900 and up. Um, I would say that for kind of like kicking off the summer, um, the mo coin market is very healthy right now. Uh, we have a couple coins, um, some pretty nice marquee type varieties and key dates that sold for just... A really large amount of money okay it seems like there's a few like very high quality pieces that just out of the middle of nowhere has come into the marketplace probably at the right time as people are kind of foregoing the vacation plans quote unquote to uh stick it out you know throughout the rest of the the summer because of the pandemic so you know and that's all reflective on the prices that we, we're going to see here today. Uh, so I wanted to, um, you know, do my YouTube thing as well. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the Monday Market Coin Report. Uh, I do it every every Sunday night. And um, feel free to like the video if you enjoy today's content. Share the video too. And most importantly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Um, if you enjoy collecting coins, you like money, you like this hobby, then this is probably your place. So why don't you come make yourself at home, kick your feet up, hit that subscribe button while you're at it, go ahead and ping the good old bell for instant notifications. I think you're going to like what you're going to see here on my channel. Over 1,300 videos strong, and I want to thank everyone for your views and support. 10 strong years of this, uh coin collecting YouTube presence, and I'm happy to serve you in any way possible when it comes to information. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'd say we are ready to take a look at the coins. Now, all of the coins that were are going to be highlighted on this particular episode are coming from great collections. Um, big shows are going to be few and far between, between now and about August. When we have, uh, I guess, the uh, the big money show coming up. It's not going to be in Chicago this year. Um, a lot of plans have changed. A lot of shows have been canceled. However, the big hosts, whether it's Heritage Auctions, Stax Bowers, whoever, all right, they're taking the reins and they are continuing on the tradition of some sort of online auction, some sort of sale to help cater to a lot of collectors that are looking forward to this event every year. Now, you can do it at the comfort of at your home, on the sofa, in bed, whatever, wherever, whatever floats your boat. There's going to be coins for sale, and believe you me, it's going to be some great stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Enough of the chit chat. And uh, these are all great collections coins. Nothing on, nothing on eBay worth mentioning, really, as far as you know, modern is concerned. But we're going to start out with this uh, this beauty right here. It's a 1958 Lincoln Wheat Set. Uh, features some really nice toning. All right. Some people get a little kind of stirred up when, you know, the word toning and Lincoln Scent are put in the same sentence. But I'm telling you, toned coins on just about any composition, any denomination, is really picking up a lot of heat here lately. I mean, in a good way. We're seeing coins sell for lots of money that maybe 10 years ago, no one would really bat an eye to. But now, the game has certainly changed. Right here, we have this beautiful Copper 58. Uh, this one grades out PCGS Mid-State 65 Brown. Keeping in mind that it, once a full red co coin begins to tone, they are no longer a full red coin. Okay, so uh, generally the default's either going to be red-brown, or brown. In this case, it's a full brown coin, uh, although it looks pretty new still. This one's also CAC certified with a toning. This one sold for $968.49. I mean, that seems like quite a bit of money um, compared to the 
technical grade that the coin did receive. I mean, a 65 Brown is a grade that no one would really care about, especially on a common dated 1958. But the toning made all the money on this particular sale. So there you go. Make sure you uh, keep an eye out for these. They are worth quite a bit of money on the secondary market. And tone coins, I'm telling you, it's hot stuff right now. All right, the next uh, Lincoln cent we have here is a 52S. All right, 52Ss and Ds, so San Francisco's and Denver's, are generally known for their high quality. So it's no surprise that we have a PCGS Mint State 67 Plus, full red, CAC certified. Undoubtedly, this is going to be a registry set all-star. Uh, top pop grade. This one sold for $1,302.51. Uh, just a really nice specimen. Okay, It's hard to find these coins with such clean fields and a decent strike. Uh, this one's really nice. Okay, so we got another uh, steel scent here. Good old Steely, Steely Dan, 1943S. Uh, of course, 43 is the date of probably one of the most interesting coins in U.S. history. Um, it's a one-year shot only. Uh, gone are the copper bronze compositions because they were saving those particular metals for the war effort. Uh, but what we have here is a really nice high-end piece. PCGS Mint State 68, CAC certified as well. And no surprise, it brought home $2,657.25. 25 steel pennies. <laughs> All right, so um, we're getting a little bit earlier material. Um, we've seen quite a few earlier pre-1940 Lincoln pennies beginning to make their way out in the market. So here's another one. This one is a 1930S, uh, a really representative example for the date. Um, it grades out PCGS Mid-State 66+. Plus. Full red. It does have a little bit of a carbon spot there in the U of Pluribus on that reverse. Uh, it is a CAC certified coin, and this one sold for $2,316.38. Okay, we got a couple more early dated Lincolns. Here's a 27 Philadelphia. Now, 27 Philadelphias are pretty easy to find in full red, up to about mid state 65. All right, if you needed a really nice example for around 30 bucks for an album, that's going to be full red. You know, it may not be the cleanest looking coin. It'll probably have a few carbon spots or a few nicks. But those are generally available for around that price value. It's only when you get up into the higher grades, like 66 and up, where things begin to get a little bit more difficult. And the same can be said on just about any other Philadelphia minted 1920s Lincoln. Now, this one is a Mint State 67 plus red through PCGS, CAC certified. And uh, this one sold for a boatload of money, $4,387.50. And then we do have one more last Lincoln cent. This is probably one of the tougher dates for a full strike that you will find in the entire series. And that's the 25S, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, it is a PCGS Mint State 64, full red. All right, some would say, man, it doesn't even look full red. You know, I see all these little carbon spots and lines and all this other stuff. Um, you got to take into consideration the actual um, decade and the mints, too. Like, in this particular instance, San Francisco minted coins were, were garbage during the 20s, even after they were struck and even after they've circulated for a number of years. So finding one that is representative of a full red is is really like finding heads teeth. I mean, it's incredibly difficult. Now, this one right here is, uh, you know, it, it's not the best looking coin, but for what you get, you, you get a de decent piece that is just not out there in the marketplace. So this one right here is a former Fairfax collection piece, and it sold for $4,939.88. You see the difference? Even as 64, which is typically a lot lower grade than what we're used to seeing on these reports. Uh, this one right here is a knockout. It's a gem. All right, so we have a few nickels, okay? Um, surprisingly, we have a 1993 on here. This is a Philadelphia. 
Uh, but take a look at the grade. It's a PCGS Mint State 66 full steps. Um, the full steps definitely looks good. Um, the 66, however, eh, that's pretty crazy because generally, you know, with these newer nickels, um, you're going to find much higher grades. All right. But we're talking about a coin that came from a decade where just the overall, uh, I, I guess, uh, um, the ability to pull these coins out or maybe hoard full BU rolls just wasn't there. People were spending their money in the 80s and 90s. Not many people really cared about hoarding gem BU rolls. Uh, so finding some really nice, decent examples can be a little bit tough. I mean, you could try and crack out some mint sets, but even there's no guarantees on those either, especially when it comes to full steps. So this one right here uh, also exhibits a little bit of toning. It's really not evident that great on here. Uh, on the listing, it does say toning, but I don't know. This one sold for $523.74. Proving once again that coins that are not the highest tiered, you know, like a there is a mid-state 67 for this date, but this is a 66, and it still sells for over $500. Um, yeah, there are mar there is a market for second rate second tier coins this is one of them all right so we have a uh, a pretty neat variety here it is a cherry pickers guy variety but this is a 58 jefferson nickel that exhibits a d over d repunch mint mark uh as, as a matter of fact more appropriately it's a d over inverted d all right so the d is either turned 90 degrees or it's completely upside down on some of these inverted mint mark coins this one is an FS501 in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Uh, but check out the grade. It's a Mint State 65 through NGC. No full steps. All right, this is just a regular coin with a really nice variety on there. And, um, yeah, this is a coin that appeals to not only Jefferson nickel collectors, but also variety collectors as well. All right, so this one sold for $900. Not bad for being... A variety that could possibly be cherry picked online or a local dealer uh, for probably a few bucks all right that's that's the opportunity cost that comes with trying to find some of these um, it's very little all right so this is a really nice 1945 D this is a silver war nickel uh, this one right here is a huge grade mid state 68 with five full steps uh, there is a six full steps designation, and that's kind of cool that NGC actually does that. Uh, I think there's a lot more buy-in with kind of like the partial attribution grades. Um, but even with the five full steps, this coin is huge. All right, this is going to end up being a registry set piece all day long. Uh, so this one right here is sold for $3,381.75. All right, and it won't be a Monday market report without talking about a huge, huge variety, okay? Everybody's familiar with the three-legged buffalo nickel, right? Now, here is an absolute monster. This is a PCGS Mid-State 66, three-leg variety. As you can see, it's missing that front four-leg right there, okay? So that's, you know, that that's what it is, guys. This is D1. Um, pretty huge grade, okay? And because of that, this one sold for $29,311.88. Um, yeah, they're worth it all day long. So, you know, keep that in mind as you're hunting through your treasure. Um, these coins are very desired. And the higher the grade, the higher the bounty. All right, so we have a few dimes. Okay, no Roosevelt's in the house tonight, but we do have its um, bigger sister, the Mercury Dime, in attendance. Uh, we have a 1942D. Okay, very common date. I'm not going to lie to you that this is a date that um, generally can be had for under 50 bucks in some of the most highest mint state grades. Um, I challenge you to find anything else that would be cheaper. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is a huge coin grade-wise. PCGS mint state 68 plus with full bands. Uh, according to um, the Great Collections listing, this is a pop one, and it's the single finest grade of this date in mid-mark um, to exist. So what kind of money did this thing sell for because of all those variables? 
Well, this one sold for $28,125.00. There you go. Um, it's worth more than most new cars. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, very, very attainable date, raw, in BU condition. I have a feeling that this is probably a coin that was cherry-picked somewhere along the line. All right, and uh, for less than 100 bucks, you better believe that this was a huge rip. All right, now this one is just really pretty. It's got some of that nice toning on both sides of the coin. It's a 1940S Mercury dime. This one is a high grade, but it didn't get all of the, the, the cake and marbles, too, with the full, uh, full bands. Uh, but it, it is a mid-state 68 plus. Uh, CAC certified, very beautifully toned. Uh, it didn't matter if it uh, did get the you know full split band designation. It's just the coloring and the high grade and just the overall cleanliness, the pre presentation quality of this coin is second to none. So this one ended up selling for seven thousand one hundred forty-three dollars and seventy-five cents. Bravo, beautiful coin. All right, so uh, I didn't think I'd be talking about 2019 West Point quarters anymore. I mean, we are, you know, a year removed from some of the releases. But here you go. This one made headlines this weekend. It's a 2019 West Point Frank Church River of No Return. This is the Idaho National Park quarter. Um, this one also features a signed PCGS label, uh, Emily Damstra who is the designer of the reverse of this coin, signed the slab label, which is cool. I didn't know that they had that, you know, uh, option. Uh, but this one right here is a PCGS Mint State 66. Most importantly, this is one of four first discovery coins. So PCGS did this bounty. Every time one of these new West Point quarters were released, you have the opportunity to be the first one to get your example graded by PCGS. In return, they give you a nice big fat check. If there are a few of you that are sharing in the pot because there's two or three or four coins that made it to PCGS at the same time, you guys will be sharing that money. But this one right here is huge. Uh, huge for the very reason why it's probably gonna be one of the last few 2019 West Point first discovery coins that we're gonna see sold on the secondary market. I'm sure there's high-end quarter collections that are scooping these up and they will be gone off the market for a long time. Uh, so this one right here sold for $2,363.62. Uh, really nice coin. If I had anything to say about it and um, congrats to not only the owner but to the, um, the seller too. A uh, very beautiful coin, and, you know, it's great to just find one of these through a bankroll or maybe in change at a gas station and just submit it. And there you go. Uh, a few thousand dollars later, through everything, it's a pretty nice win. All right, so uh, not the best-looking coin on the block, but this 1990p uh, Washington Quarter is one that you don't see that often anymore. Okay, Mint State, decent spaghetti hair looking coin this is uh actually graded ngc mint state 67 it's in an old holder though you can see the slab label down there it's a uh, probably a 10 year old generation holder uh so um this grading was at least 10 years old if not older than that but this one right here is sold for 1027 dollars and 12 cents uh, again i have a feeling that this is probably a registry set add-in all right, the most common silver quarter you'll find is the 64D. So on the list, we have this one that exhibits some original toning, PCGS Mint State 67 Plus, CAC certified. Uh, this one right here is probably going to be another registry set example because of the numerical grade and uh, the toning is really nice. This is part of the Sunset Part 111 Providence Collection, and it sold for $1,680 and 75 cents all right so here's another one this time this one is uh what they call blast white it's the, you know it looks like a coin that came out of a bu roll um which is a pretty standard cherry picking method that people use they'll you know pay 
two hundred bucks for a full roll of uh, common date, single date type quarters, and they're gonna find the finest looking coin out of the bunch and then send it off to the graders in the hopes of striking it rich. Well, there you go. PCGS Mint State 67, that's one of the highest grades you can find of this. And this one sold for $2,981.25. Okay, it's still a real thing. People are still cherry picking some of these BU rolls. So it's definitely worth a shot. All right, another relatively common coin to find in high grades, especially raw, is a 57D. All right, uh, try going to a coin shop and not finding one of these. It's actually pretty tougher than it looks. But this one is a PCGS Mint State 67 Plus. has some originality to it, toning-wise. It is CAC certified, and this one is also a Sunset Collection Part 111 um, on great collections. And this one sold for $2,362.50. And probably the toughest 1950s quarter that you'll encounter in some of the highest grades is a 55 Philadelphia. I've been on a hunt for an example that I could send off to the graders. I have one right now, but I don't think it'll hit 67 plus, which is what this one hit. But this is also a CAC certified coin. Uh, it's got some nice original toning on there. That always scores some extra points. And this one right here is sold for $5,119 and 88 cents and there you go that is the final coin in the monday market report for the week ending june 28th okay the last report of june 2020 um things are looking up up and up all right it's looking like we're gonna have a pretty busy summer coin market wise let's see how that all pans out um you know i want to wish you guys a very happy and healthy coming week here um, as we go into 4th of July, just to let you guys know, I will not be doing the pocket change market report on a Saturday. People have asked me if I'll do it on a Friday, like Friday morning. I could possibly do that. We'll see. Um, it's going to be a busy weekend for me to, uh, as well, uh, outside of the hobby. So um, I personally welcome you to check out some of my other videos coming up. And uh, I will be doing the, uh, the Blue Ridge Bounty giveaway here in a couple days. Should be a lot of fun. That's a nice little pot of cash. That's going to go to one lucky winner. Uh, so I want to thank everyone again for watching. Thank you for all the views and support. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that good old bell for instant notifications. And I am your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhounds, Coinaholics. We are discovering together. Enjoy the hobby. I'll see you on the next coin video. You guys take care now.